Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics in the shed gearing up for the weekend. My dad is coming to fish. We've got a low tide. We're going to get out and fish the end of the low to try and get a few flatheads. So what I thought I'd do is start this video off with five tips for fishing the plastic that we're going to be fishing, which is the ST Grubs. And then I'll tack that session on the end of this video as well. So the ST Grubs is a curl tail grub with a split tail. That's what the ST stands for, deep ribbed body. It's a great plastic for those getting into soft plastics fishing and also deadly if you know what you're doing in terms of fishing soft plastics. So the ST Grubs, here's five tips for how I rig and fish this plastic and then check out the action on the end of here. So basically I've had great success with this plastic fishing for brim over the flats, weed flats and that sort of thing on the high stages of the tide. Haven't had a lot of opportunity to fish it on the lower stages of the tide. So my dad hasn't fished it at all. So this is what we're going to do we're going to get out and we're going to fish this st grubs for flatty so how i like to rig it it rigs beautifully on a headlocks finesse uv painted jig head or headlocks you uh, finesse jig head so that's a fine wire hook so awesome for penetration on brim and flatties and that sort of thing when you're fishing light line and light drag so i will fish that in a size one or a one oh generally on that headlocks finesse three of my favorite colors that i fish I love the opening night. It's beautiful and clear water. Awesome on that black head. I like the Houdini, which is a nice natural brownie color and that sort of thing with that brownie bloodworm colored head. Looks beautiful in the water. And then for a bit more UV pop, I like that motor oil colored head with one of the oil family plastics. So blood oil is beautiful or dirty oil, motor oil, midnight oil. Any of those oils rig beautifully on that head. They look fantastic. That's in a 1 8 ounce. So that's excellent for shallow edges, fishing shallow flats, and when you've got the wind at your back for throwing a big long cast as well. If you're fishing deeper edges, faster run, and you've got the wind in your face as well at different times, you need a bit more weight to punch it out there. Then I fish a quarter ounce in a one or a one oh in a TT Demons jig head. So this is probably what we'll fish on the day because we've got a bit more current running, dropping from a decent high tide out to a low tide. So there's a couple that we fish that blood oil on the green colored head or golden boy head with a Houdini colored plastic. So they both look beautiful. Really, really nice looking placky. If you're fishing heavy structure and focusing on getting fish out of structure and you want a, a more brutal jig head like real, real heavy hook, then check out that Headlocks HD. And I generally step down one size. So I'll fish a size two or a size one in the Headlocks HD when I want to fish that ST grubs around heavy cover and get fish out of structure and that sort of thing. So that's a quick tip for rigging. One eighth ounce jig heads for the shallow stuff and when the wind's not impacting you or when you're casting with the wind. Quarter ounce if the wind's in your face or you're fishing deeper edges or faster flow. So that's a good start. This plastic has loads of tail action. That tail is ridiculous. It's got, you know, lots of, it's got those split tails plus that seductive fall of that curl tail. So you can fish it in a lot of different ways. But one, another tip I would give you is if you're fishing for flathead with this plastic, get it right in there, get it right in the shallows. Because with that loads of tail action, you don't have to move it a lot. You can move it with slow roll or a few shakes or a twitch and that tail will dance and move around and it'll even just move with the water flow as well. So second tip would be get it right in the shallows when you're targeting flathead. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be right up on the weed edges and and mud edges and that sort of thing, banging that plastic right, right up on the edges. So that would be my second tip. My third tip would be to mix up the retrieve. This curl tail, as I said, has loads of action. So you can slow roll it, just slow wind it, just keep it near the bottom. You might pause every now and then. You can twitch it, shake it, and keep it moving. You can hop it and drop it back down, hop it and drop it back down. Doesn't matter what retrieve you use, this tail will respond really well to a wide range of retrieves. But the important thing is to mix it up. If you keep doing the same retrieve, and you're not getting bites, you potentially might continue that pattern throughout the session. So if you change it up to a bit more of a shaky retrieve, you might fire up a different species or you might trigger that bite. They might want it on a slow roll. They might want it with a big hop and a drop. So I would just say mix up the retrieve on this plastic will definitely increase the number of species you catch and also the number of fish you catch because you'll crack a pattern for that session on what the fish want to eat. Uh, my fourth tip would be to slow it down. If you're not catching any fish at all, slow down and pause it. Big long pauses because this tail, the Z-Man being naturally buoyant, 
this tail will sit up in the air and it'll wave around with the current flow and that sort of thing. So as this plastic's bouncing along, that tail is just up moving around attracting fish to bite. So I've had times where I've fished it and I'm shaking it and doing all sorts of things. Then I sit the rod down to adjust my paddle stroke or move position or fiddle with the electric motor or whatever I'm doing, pick the rod up again, give it a lift and there's a fish on there because that fish is just eating it on the pause. So if you're not catching fish, don't be afraid to slow it down and just pause it for longer and see if the fish will pick it up off the bottom. Often you'll feel them tap it and then you'll get the hook set as that plastic's just bouncing along the bottom. So finally, my fifth tip would be sent up. Like I always sent up, but if you're, especially if you're slowing things down, you're pausing more, that scent will attract the fish, it'll trigger strikes and it'll get the fish to hold on longer giving you more time to set the hook on that fish as well. So that would be my fifth tip, scent up. So if you're slowing it down, that sort of thing, that scent is attracting the fish, triggering strikes, getting them to hold on. One of my favorites is sardine pilchard. You can tell by that one, she's almost empty. Sardine pilchard, um, saltwater yabby nipper, you know, mullet, whatever flavor you like to suit the fishing that you're doing. This plastic has a really deep ribbed body. So that gives it a really soft, natural feel that the fish love to bite but that deep ribbing also holds scent really well. So I just squirt a bit of scent on each side of the plastic. I'll smear it right down to the tip of the tail and that deep ribbing holds the scent in there nicely. And I'll just put a bit more scent on there every 30 casts or so. So there you go. There's five tips for fishing the Z-Man ST grubs for flatties on the edges and that sort of thing. Let's get out and get stuck into a few. Hopefully there's a few fish to follow. All the best with the fishing. Cheers. There's a lot of bait there, eh? Yep, fish on. Oh, good on you. Yep. Might be a few in there, Dad. Black one? Yep, might be a few in there, eh? Do you want me to spot lock? Oh, he's a nice one. ST grubs, two and a half inch. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> he wasn't keen, didn't like the look of the net. All right, he spat that out there. You can see that's the ST Grubs. Beautiful plastic for those wanting to get into soft plastics fishing. Loads of action in that plastic, that curl tail design. Plenty of action on the drop, plenty of action on whatever retrieve that you do. That's on a quarter ounce 10 TT Demons jig head. That nice flowing tail gets some biting. So there you go, that's a nice pan size flatty. We'll put one in the box for dinner, I think. What happened to that wind blowing us away from the bank? <laughs> Fish? Yep. Oh, he nailed that right in close, eh? Hey? Oh, I'm hooked on the ice box. <laughs> ST Grubs eating pocket rocket. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where you catch one like that, the next one could be a 60. See you, buddy. He's away, that was a pretty good dive too. Nine out of 10. Thank you. Yep, fish on. It was. Yeah, it's still there. Yep. I thought I was stunning. Brimbo or flatfish? I can't say flat, but he's still a bit strange. Where is he? <laughs> he's a brown one. Oh, he looks under again, Dad. He's not, is he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the numbers. <laughs> oh. You get another rattle. Yeah. Oh. oh. You're I actually sped that up to bring it in and he nailed it as soon as I. Oh. Now, what, what is going on? What? Did you have a flat head on? I don't know. I thought you just had another bite again. On the way back in here. I don't know what's going on there. Yep, yep. Got him. They feel weird. Are they small brim or something? They feel like they're too strong for that. Oh, he's a reasonable brim, but he's not a big brim. Brim on the ST grubs. 
dirty oil colour, quarter one o demons. We've been losing a few fish in there. I think it might be these guys rattling away in there. Very thick, heavy that one. Heavy in the body. Hey, fish on. Here I am having a whinge and you're hooked up. <laughs> Is it? I'll get the net. No, no, Brimbo. <laughs> I was going to say, is it hooked in the mouth? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's in the gob. Yeah, he's in the gob. He's legitimate. <laughs> I think that's, we're getting a few rattles from those guys, hey, little Brimbos. Yeah, he's trying. Yeah, it's funny hitting in this flow and that, hey? Yeah. It's like that brim I hooked before. I thought, here we go. Yeah. It wasn't much bigger than that one. Hey! That one's flat. That it's one's silver. Right. It's starting to feel a bit silver. <laughs> <laughs> They're eating it funny, hey? No, I think it's flat. No, it's flat and it's short. Born. Flat and <laughs> short it was. It was too short, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Thank goodness for that. It was 39, <laughs> the same as your other one. On straight up, eh? Yeah. Good guiding, you reckon? Right in. Yeah, you put me on. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, he's a rocket, mini rocket. Oh, he might be alright, that one. Oh, come on, give us one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. I just cast as you. No, I'm not confident. Yes. <laughs> ST Grubs, getting the fish again. We've caught plenty of flatties on the ST grubs today. We haven't found the big fellas, but definitely been plenty of action. Another little one there. He's nailed the blood oil colour in that ST grubs. Dad's been on fire. He's got quite a few flatties and brimbos with that one. I'll retie your leader quickly. that one yep oh, it's 40, 42 I'll quickly change the leader though because it's chewed up I'll quickly sit down for a minute. yep don't want to catch the big one and then pop oh that'll be, that'll be the story you've done all the hard yards yeah this jig head's caught about 850 fish it's <laughs> it's pretty well beaten up I think it caught all those fish the other day it's still going and catching fish oh he put mud on me Get off and they go out, then that's no good. Oh, Ronnie's on again. While I'm on the phone. This one might be a brimbo. Yeah, just give it plenty, give it plenty, and um, then you should be right. No, because you've got to, you've got to get it, but he's, Ronnie's got a micro brim. It might be a tar wine, actually. Yeah, it is. Micro tar wine. Yeah. Righto. Cheers, just just give it give it heaps of juice so that it's popping and popping and spluttering and all that. And then you can put them in and let them go grey, but leave them together until they go grey. And safety first. If you need us to come home, yell out. Righto, bike. On. Fish on. Nice work. Yeah, it might be a flatty up in those weed pockets, eh? Alright. Get on the net. Brown one. ST Grubs blood oil colour. Quarter ounce one ogre. It's a brown one. A little one. I think. Pocket rocket. There's been a few of them today. Little fella day. Yep, pocket rocket. <laughs> Lures out. Lures out. Yep, another one on the SD Grubs. The flatties are loving it. We just haven't found the big ones today. Still could be one lurking in there. You never know. He's only a little bloke. It'd be probably a 39. We're going to throw him back anyway, but he would probably be a 30, 39 on the scale. Let's have a look. Put the tip on there. He's actually a 41, so he would be a legal flatty. Good job. That's what we like to see. Oh. He's fired up, that one. 
Whoa, he is angry. ST Grubs, quarter one oh. Well, I'll come down the back with you. I'm standing on the rod locker. I don't know if that's a good idea. Net in the water and Ronnie will swing him around into the net. There we go, fish on. Little one. Yep, nice fish. ST Grubs. That's okay, we've caught a bunch of them. We just haven't found the big fellas, but they're they're definitely loving that tail on the ST Grubs. Popped out, there we go, have a look at that. Quarter 1 -oh. TT Demons, and have a look at this. That's that ST Grub, split tail grub, so loads and loads of action in that split tail grub. Fish have been loving it. <clears throat> oh, there's that mullet. <laughs> Get in here, mate. Right off that edge though, eh? Alright. Right. Yep. He's not a giant or anything. But he's a nice little lizard. Whoa, he's fired up. ST grubs. Quarter one oak. Oh yeah. get in there. <laughs> oh, we've had a great fun session on the ST grubs. Definitely haven't found the big bikes, but we've hooked a few. Bunch of flatties, a few brim. Loving that tail action. There you go, that's a brilliant little presentation. If you want to give those flatties a go. Just working edges like this, just working your way along the edge and flicking that SD grubs, they love it. All right, I'm just rigging this 2.5 inch ST grubs. I've found myself a snag and lost my presentation. So I'm gonna push it around and pop out just before the end of the tail there. Just push it up over that keeper and then pull it back down again. You can see that deep ribbing on that plastic is brilliant for holding scent. So I've got my Pro QR sardine pilchard. Gonna squeeze a bit of that on each side. And those deep ribs, you can see there, hold that scent really well. So I'll push the scent into those ribs and then I'll also run it right down that split tail. Alright, we're rigged again, ready to go. See if we can get ourselves another flatty. Yep, yep. Oh, come on fish. Oh, you feel alright. Oh, that took it nicely. Love this one to three kilo job. One to three kilo, two piece. Oh, I've got a shovely. What a ripper. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen one. I don't have it either. Great. He's got a sore nose, that one too. Have a look at that. I have not seen one. Have a look at that. Shark on. Oh, he felt good. <laughs> There we go, beautiful shovel nose shark. He's actually a bit skinny, this guy. I don't know whether he's real well. He's got a big head for his body. He looks like he's got some parasites on him, Dad. That looks like, a, let's rip these off. He's got a couple of parasites on him. There you go, buddy. You're not looking real well, mate. No, I'll get rid of that. He's got a, some sort of parasite on him here. Get rid of them, get rid of them, mate. They're not doing you any good. And there's one in your mouth here I can see. Let's get rid of him. Yeah, that's probably good. He might have one down exactly. He's got one down in, oh, he might be full of them, hey? He's got them all over him, I think. Sorry, buddy. Just trying to get these parasites off you. In behind his eyes and in his gob. I think we got the one out of there. Let's get the one out. There's a big one there. Another big one in here, buddy. Let's get rid of that one. There we go. Oh, gross. Lovely budget, eh? There we go. You're a few parasites left. There you go, mate. Hopefully that helps. Enjoy life. <laughs> Look at those gross things, eh? Uh, 
like some sort of leech things. Yeah. Now, well, we got five leeches off him. Hopefully that helps him. Ah, oh, I thought we were on for a nice laddie then. Would have been a good laddie. <laughs> I wondered why it just stuck there for a little bit. Probably catch a couple more brim as we get up here and the bank breaks away. The tide's where the tide's eating it. I'll zip us up a bit more if you want. Yep, I just ate that on the paws, Dad. That's the good thing with that curl tail. You can just sit it there and they just eat it off the bottom. But unfortunately, it's not what we want. No, it's not what we want. No. <laughs> it's just a brimbo. <laughs> yeah, I've only just lipped him too. Let's go for the He's a chunky brim. They're in good condition. Oh, yeah. look at that one. Yeah. Ten times that. Got him on the lasso. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. All right, I'll see you later. All right, folks, there we go. A pretty interesting afternoon. We didn't film pushing the boat off a mud bar, but after that it got all right. Better. It got better. We found ourselves a few flatties and a few brims, so we ended up with about probably eight flathead landed and a handful of brim. Just flicking this guy, Z-Man 2.5 inch ST grubs, so that's split tail grubs on a quarter 1.0 TT Demons jig head. A great all round plastic for fishing the river and estuary. And we're basically just working our way along, fishing the edges. The wind made it a bit tricky, so we, we used the wind to fish one bank, and then we got in tight on the second bank and punched those casts right up on the edges. And we were just allowing that to fall to the bottom and then fishing it back with a hop or a roll and a few twitches and that sort of thing to entice those bites. So a couple of flatties in the box for dinner and a, a great afternoon on the water with my dad. So hope you get out there soon and get stuck into a few fish. All the best.